What's up guys, it's Amanda, and today I'm back with a Hi-Rise Deluxe Charging Stand by 12 South. This stand is for both iPhone and iPad, although I've only tried it out with the iPhone 6 Plus, it's a very stable, very nice looking stand. Many of you have seen the Hi-Rise Deluxe before on YouTube and on many desk tours and things, and this is a little different than the previous models. It does come in gold now, so you can use it with your gold iPhones and iPads, which is really nice but they also do attach a nice price tag with this. It comes in now at $59.99, which the previous model was about half that price, but it does now include both lightning and micro USB chargers. And if you're asking yourself, why would 12 South include micro USB chargers considering they mostly make Apple products? Well, it's so that if you use a Mophie case on your phone, you still can charge it, but I'm assuming some people with Android would like this option as well. So taking a look at this thing, we are going to see how to assemble it and it's much easier than last year's model. First, you just unscrew this dial in the back and then you locate in your parts the part that says rear support and that's what kind of stabilizes your phone. And you just seat that inside of there nicely, fits just right in there and you screw it back down. And at this time, I'm gonna leave my screw kind of loose just so that we can make some adjustments here in a minute. If you wanna locate whichever device charger you wanna use, I'm gonna go ahead and use the 12 South supplied ones and I'm gonna be using the Apple one. If you look at the bottom here, there's a little tab that says pull. You don't actually wanna remove that plastic. It's there just to help you remove it anytime you wanna make any kind of adjustments or swap cables. And it reveals below the cable management, which does a very nice job of keeping this all contained. So we slide the cable up inside and you just wanna seat it out a little ways. And then you're gonna locate your clip, either a zero, two, or five, which indicates the millimeters that it allows the cable to slip through so that it can adapt to fit any kind of case or any situation that you need, depending on how far you need the cable actually to reach out. So we just slide this little clip over the edge of your lightning cord and slide it up towards the tip and you will see it just reveals just a little tiny bit and we will go ahead and try it with our case on to make sure that it does fit nicely. I did do this while plugged in to make sure it did make a good connection and the thing was actually charging before I put this all back in together. So now that we see that we have the right size clip, you wanna go ahead and press this all down firmly and make sure it's in there nice and tight and we will flip over the bottom and we will get this cord wrapped around. You can tell exactly where it's supposed to go. They have nice cable management. It has some little kind of teeth that grip onto it and it holds it in there. You do wanna make sure you get it in there flush as the first time that I put this together, I did not get the cord in there completely solid and it did cause a little wobble in the stand and I had to start over again. So then we'll go ahead and put this little piece of plastic over the top here that closes it all and makes it all nice and neat and tidy. And we'll flip it over and we are going to take our phone with our case on if you're going to be using a case. And we're gonna make adjustments back here and you wanna make sure that it holds your phone securely so you don't have any accidents where it may accidentally fall over or drop your phone or damage the ports on your phone or the cable. It all seems to be real nice and then you just tighten that screw down and everything should be good to go. So if you're still with me guys and you're in the process of trying to find a stand for your iPhone 6 or iPad, I suggest at least taking a look at the Hi-Rise Deluxe. If not, if you want to save some cash and have extra spare cables, I would at least check out the model below, save you some cash, especially if you're not needing a gold one. It's not a whole lot different, although it is slightly different. Um, I am justified in my purchase of $59.99 for what I've got here. I'm very happy with it. Alright guys, thanks for watching and as always, please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and check out my other videos and I will see you next time.